What's that music? It sounds like wonderfully cheerful. Kind of like Christmas music? It sounds like Christmas music. Now what is the North Pole? That's new. This isn't anyone's base. This is its own its own tunnel to the North Pole. I wonder what's in the North Pole. This is interesting. Let's check it out. Interesting. Interesting. There's some there's some red and white candy canes. There's a stone and s snow candy. That's weird. Um, Jefferson's Winter Cabin. Interesting. Also with a red and white theme. Reindeer Stay Balls. This is... Reindeer Stable... St uh, reindeer Stables. This is a sheep deer, a cow deer, and a zombie deer. Interesting. Um, but red and white candy canes. Happy music. Reindeer. Red and white stuff. What is it? It's Christmas! It's Christmas on the Decidedly Vanilla server. Now that Thanksgiving is over in America, we feel like... It's time for us to start planning for Christmas. I don't know how it works in the UK. Half of our members are in the UK, but in, in the United States, we get bombarded with Christmas things from stores, sales, and and music, and, and trees, and lights, and everything. As soon as Halloween is over, sometimes before Halloween, and it feels horrible. It's too much. I love Christmas, but that's too much. So now that Thanksgiving is over, we can finally have Christmas, which I'm really excited about. So this is... Our DV Secret Santa Machine. Last year, we had our built, OV built a Christmas tree and spawn, and we um, all had chests, and everyone gave gifts to each other, and it was it was great. This year, we're gonna do a Secret Santa instead. If you don't know what that is, basically, you get someone's name and you give them a present, and nobody knows who got them and who gave them their present. So it's it's a it's a jolly fun happy time. So press the button to receive paper. Put the paper back if you get your own name. So let's see who I got. I didn't get myself, so that's good. I don't have to put it back. I'm very excited to get a gift for that person, or make a gift for that person, or do a gift thing for that person. It's going to be really fun. Ah, it's a beautiful morning on the North Pole. The sun is shining, the skeletons are burning, the zombies are burning, a lot of zombies are burning. There must be a villager in there. Um, it's a present for someone. The, um, we can't light this up because all the snow will melt. So it's gotta be dark, so we gotta keep sleeping. Anyway, let's explore what people have done. We've got these beautiful red and white candy canes, and then there's this weird stone and white candy cane. The Clandlewood and Cane built, which I'm gonna call a Clandy Cane. It's a Clandy Cane. Um, we've got the Reindeer Stay Balls, which is the Sheep Deer, the Cow Deer, and the Zombie Deer. Also, when I arrived here, it was raining, dear. Jefferson's Winter Cabin, which is, like, larger than Santa's workshop? Sort of. Jefferson is kind of making himself important. Um, we've got some cute, like, bricks. An adorable little Christmas tree. Um, the furnace lighter. And a little kitty. Hi. Hi, little kitty. Let me pet you with a nether rack. No, okay. You're cute, though. We're, ch we're chatting. This Christmas tree is looking kind of sad. So I, I brought something to spruce it up. I've got myself a Christmas ornament. So we gotta hang the um, hang the Christmas ornament on the tree. There we go. Got a Christmas tree, and there's the ornament. It's a invisible string, keeping it on. But that should uh, that should help help the look. But this is the North Pole, which is pretty awesome. And we got Santa's workshop at the North Pole. So. The one other thing we've got here is building supplies that says use these building supplies for anything. So, I, I feel like I should build something, right? We got Glendale and Kane built the stables. Jefferson built this awesome house. Um, Logan found the North Pole. No one knows who built it, who built Santa's workshop. Well, Santa built Santa's workshop, obviously. Um, it sort of just magically appeared, which is great. Um, but no one gets to take credit for it. But I need to build something 
It doesn't have to be useful necessarily, but I gotta build something. So let me let me do that with these building supplies, and I'll I'll show you what I got when it's done. Let's see, where should I build something? What do you think? Reaper name is probably Brian. Maybe Brian. What do you think? Where should I build something? Over there? Okay, sure. I'll build it over here. Um. I had a, an interesting idea. If you remember back in October or so, when Paige was still possessed by the Wither, I built her a Wither Treats trick dispenser that was supposed to, um, when you open the chest, it hit you with a splash potion. And it was, a, it was like, ridiculously overcomplicated design. Like, absolutely hilariously so. And someone, I, I can't remember who it was, so I'm terribly sorry, but you're going to have to remind me of your name in the comments, please, uh, showed me a better way to do it. And so that is what I'm going to do, except it's not going to be healing potions. It's going to be, um, I think, well, I'll show you. I'll show you when it happens. There's potions, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to wait and show you what they are. I need some white wool. Yeah. Um, so, this is, I'm gonna call it the, um, the Spirit of Christmas Dispenser. So, oh, not wool. Silly, silly goose. Silly quack. That's a, is that a, is that a goose? That's a duck. Silly duck. Carpet. I need carpet. Oh, no, I don't. I did want wool. Ugh. Oh, this double silly duck. Yeah, this works. Hmm, some grass. Very helpful. Let me just stick this dirt under here, and then want red around the outside. And, oh, you may have seen what it was. You may have seen what it was. And white here. white here and then just gonna dig down so I can access this Str splash potions of strength here and um, should I yeah I'll make even make this like one block wider although the white is gonna blend in with the snow so actually let me make these red also while I'm doing that I have a question for everyone this is not an interesting question necessarily, but I'm curious. What is the tool that breaks wool? Quickly? Everything seems to break it at the same rate, and it's pretty slow. And I don't know what the deal is. So if someone could tell me what tool I should be using to break wool as quickly as possible, I would appreciate it. Oh jeez, I'm doing the wrong, wrong blocks. Here we go. I want it to look more like a box, like a present, like a gift box, and less like a cross. It's all about the gift box here. All right, there we go. That's close enough. Um, and these are, this is the spirit of Christmas. So the idea of the strength potions is it gives you the strength to conquer evil and badness. And the sun is going down. So I think I'm going to sit here and wait a little bit to be able to demonstrate the spirit of Christmas. All right, here we are. It's nighttime. Are there any mobs out yet? There's this baby zombie, but I'm... Or baby... Baby zombie pigman. I'm hesitant to touch him. I hear... There we go. There's a zombie. Hello, zombie. All right, so watch. If I... If I... Are you going to attack me? You're probably... No, you're transfixed on the villager. That's okay. So the zombies represent the spirit of evil, right? And if I hit them it hurts, but it doesn't vanquish evil as quickly as possible. But with the spirit of Christmas and all that is good here's another zombie coming. The spirit of Christmas infuses us with the strength to vanquish our foes with as much power as possible. They're all dead because of the spirit of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas! The spirit of Christmas! Okay, that's enough of that. 
The spirit of Christmas, the spirit of Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, Ovi has redecorated the Christmas tree. He put the little lights and the ornaments on, and I think it looks really cute. Looks really cute. He um he re added he like fixed the chests, added our new our new member since last Christmas. Jefferson Kane. I don't remember who's here, but um we're gonna these are probably be where he put our secret Santa gifts. But he um he also said that if anyone had a beacon that they were willing to donate for the star, that they could. Uh, Feel free to redo the star, so I am going to take this opportunity to use my beacon and remake the star. So let's see if we can ender pearl our way up there. Eh, not a bad throw. But you know what would be helpful? A potion of jump boost. Hey! I wonder how high I can jump now. Will that help? Well, not totally. It'll help a little bit. Let me just do one more little pearl, pearl hop up here. Hey, and I fell back down. How about that? Now we're in the tree. Now we're in the tree. We're stuck in the tree. I'm actually stuck. Wait. I'm stuck in the tree. Oh, crap. I'm in the star. <laughs> I got stuck in the star. Which is fine, because I wanted to destroy it anyway. Because not only am I going to put a beacon up here, but I'm going to totally remake the star. Glowstone like this. Let's see if I can do this right without having to break anything. And then a solid layer of gold. This is going to be our beacon platform. And then the beacon. Then, um, gold, gold. Gold, gold. And then a glowstone. And then a gold. And then gold in each of the corners. Now, break the dirt. And I think that's, I think that's it. Yeah! Oh, there it is. Isn't it cute? It's like a star. It's supposed to be a star. Kind of sticks out on the bottom and the sides. It doesn't stick out on the top, but there's a freaking beacon laser that sticks out higher than any star point would. And you can't see it anyway from the bottom. So that's the star. Let me know what you think of the star. I'm kind of proud of it. I'm back here at her... Hers... <laughs> Uh, who appears to be missing again. Logan got a new villager to um, replace Wom Wallace Wombo, R.I.P. And he asked what his name was, and he said, Her! So, that's his name, and this is his greenhouse. Unfortunately, he's gone again. I've been watching uh, the revival of Building with B-double-O, which is one of my favorite series on YouTube, because he's an awesome builder and a very entertaining guy to listen to. And he was trying to line a pathway with trees. And I thought, wow, that looks really awesome. And the Shire could use some more trees, I think. So I'm, I'm here in her shop to buy some saplings. I need to check the prices. I think it's one iron bar, iron, one iron per slot. Two, two iron per slot. Exquisite soil is one diamond per slot. I may have to let my trees be less than exquisite, because um, I can't really afford that. Acacia isn't doesn't really fit with the the look, but uh, birch might, birch might. So I'm gonna take two birch saplings, four four spruce saplings with lots of dark oak. Holy crap! And two stacks of oak saplings, and I think these are all the trees I need for now. So that's four, six, eight, ten. No. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen, iron. All right, so there's a few places that I want trees, but really, it's I want them to line the pathway. I think they'll look really nice that way. I'm planning to build more hobbit holes out there and more along the other side, so those paths need to split. But like along the path, I think it would be nice if it was lined with trees. Maybe even on both sides, I could put some trees here. I could put some trees there. Um, I could even put some trees there. I, there's so many places I could put trees. And I love trees, so that's really exciting. I think spruce, those are spruce. If I can, looking at the sapling, those look most like spruce. 
So I'm least excited about that because they're more of the cold weather. This is supposed to be like more cheerful and happy. I think oak is probably going to be a good look, but also dark oak because dark oak is giant. And I think they might be a good like one to mix in. Maybe if you're going to have one standalone tree, like for example, this is a corner. So I don't think more than one tree is going to fit here, but a dark oak I think would be great. So what I'm going to do is dark oak, and then what B-double-O did, which is a classic thing, is to build a little pillar next to the tree to limit its height so that the tree can't grow shorter, or to, yeah, limit is fine. The, cre the tree has to grow larger than four blocks because the, um, the... The leaves would be in the way. I'm going to bone meal this one just to make sure it worked. Um, come on. See, wait, or not. I have learned my dark oak problem. You need four saplings to grow a dark oak tree. Aha! There it is! Oh, there's a giant monstrosity of a tree. So that's why selling them in such large quantities, because you need four of them. To plant a tree. So that answers the question about why the heck my dark oak wasn't working. Now that I've made it... Well, actually, let's let that hang out for a little while. He's, um... He's tall. He's a little chubby. But that is how dark oak looks. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it and see how I feel about it. You have to use a lot more bone meal than normal to get a super tall tree. But once you do, man, that is glorious, isn't it? It's got branches going out either side. It's really awesome. So these puny little trees are comparatively really sad, and I don't want them around, so I'm going to chop these down and um, hopefully get more saplings from them, which would be great. And then plant some trees with some pillars, make them super tall, and instead of using all my bone meal, I'm just going to wait it out, which is what I was planning to do anyway, but I'm going to wait it out let them uh, grow on their own. Also, I got another dark oak here that I think is going to be cool. I like the oak and the dark oak together. They look like they belong together. They don't look like they're strange. They don't look mixed and matched. They kind of, they really do look like they fit. So that should be that should be nice. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for these things to to decay, I think I'm going to chop down some of these uh, pumpkins because they're cute. But Halloween is over. My natural, my other natural dark oak grew. It's a little stubby. <laughs> he's, um, like, what a tiny little treetop he's got. I may have to enhance him a little bit. That's really funny. It's a very, really weird looking tree. I've got seven oaks so far from those saplings, which is great. Um, I'm still gonna have to buy some more from Logan's shop, I'm sure, but, um,. These, that one, I mean, definitely did me some good, so. I'm set for now, at least. Um, let me just finish off these last, uh, last branches, or leaves. And then replant them with their stone pillars. Oh, he decayed. Replant them with their pillars and, and to make some really epic tree, foresty, you know, I want this to be like a green, have, like, nature-y, oasis-y thing, and the Shire should be full of trees, I think. Maybe not like a forest, necessarily, but some, a little bit foresty. I think a little bit foresty is good. I also think it would look lovely if this path to Trevor was, <clears throat> was tree-lined, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm going to put a few trees down on the slope, kind of growing up. But also, I'm going to um, expand the slope a little bit. Jeez, um, the flower really, really in the way. I'm going to expand the slope out a little bit to make um, a spot for the, to put some trees. Because I, um, I want it to have more of like a plateau, like... Like, this is a good spot for a tree, but, like, another another level down, I think, would be a little strange looking. Although, I actually want him right on the path. Right on the pathway. 
think that's good. Uh, and one more up here, right on the pathway. So let me make this a little bit longer, a little bit longer, um, so that I can do this. Eh, a little too uniform, like that. And put one more tree right here. I really wanted to go with natural tree gen tree generation, but I uh, decided I really don't like this dark oak. It was so stumpy. He had no leaves. The trees are all about leaves. The leaves are the thing about them that are beautiful. It's not the um, it's not the trunks. It's the leaves. So I'm gonna replant him. Hope he grows a little more interesting next time. Like ooh, it was just so stumpy and flat and weird. Not not into it. All right, there we go. So I'm going to let these guys all generate naturally. I got these four along here, and then I got another three on the road. I have to make another stop back to the store, but I'll do that off camera. Um, I got my pumpkins cleaned up. I want to do a little more work on this road. That's also not super interesting. Um, so maybe I'll do that off camera also. But I just wanted to say one, uh, one other thing. I am... Um, my bookstore has been a tremendous success, and that means I need to do a lot of enchanting. And I've run out of lapis, and I keep breaking these. I've run out of lapis, so I need to do a caving run for some lapis, and <clears throat> I think it would be fun to do a Q&A caving, because a couple other people on the server have done it. It's been cool, they've got some interesting questions, it gives you something to talk about. So I'd like to do that next episode. So if you have any questions for my Q&A caving, please, um, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer all the questions. If not, I, uh, maybe I'll talk about something else. Maybe I won't show as much caving as I would, but I would really like to do some kind of Q&A thing. I think that'd be really fun. So submit your questions in the comments for me to answer. I'm going to hang out here with my trees and wait for them to grow and beautify my landscape. And I'll see you next time in this beautiful, it'll be a beautiful hallway of trees. It's going to be great.